All right, another video. Just talked about it a lot of times, but never done it. So, sorry about the glare, but it's the best place I can find to show you. Alexa, volume three. Excuse me. Uh, again, good morning. Um, this is the best place I can show you to do alternative um, ways to uh, exercise. I do it on normally on the uh, the uh, machine over there, but um, but not everybody has that ability. So I'm gonna do a couple different things. Uh, and I'm already tired because I've been trying to set all this up. Um, I uh, got called out yesterday for not doing the right amount of reps. And I apologize for anybody that does pay attention and count. Uh, so, first things first, probably should have had some of this cleaned off, but I didn't. Um, so, what you can do is, you know, say, maneuver your walker or whatever you're using to get there. So, then you can sit down, and this has a little bit of depth, and normally I talk about doing dips. Um, and this is what this is going to be because it will strengthen your arm strength on your walker or whatever. Again, I apologize for sun glare, um, but you'll get the idea, I do believe. So what I'm going to do is lower myself down and try to extend your foot so you can get down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, it's an easier, easier way to do dips if you have an ottoman, even your couch. Uh, you can squish into the cushions and just do it off the side of the couch. Um, whatever you like it uh, you'll you'll get the same results and you'll build up muscle for you know getting yourself around until you get your your uh, prosthetic uh, another one that I have talked about is doing push-ups you can do them leaning against the wall you can do them on the ground you can do them on a machine uh, if this will hold my weight up <laughs> I have a punch that you can do it on as well. So again, we're just bouncing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Um, again, uh, you know, this is all on your comfortability and your particular strength. Uh, um, Doing nothing is not gonna help. And I don't want you to think you have to get on the ground and do them, or you can do push-ups, putting your, le your legs in the air and do push-ups like that's way extreme, way hard. Anything will help you build strength in those other areas that you're gonna need when you're on your crutches or your walker or whatever. So even if it's up against the wall and you're slightly leaning, uh, more than what you've been doing is better. Uh, if you weren't doing anything, something is good. So uh, that's really all I have. Um, oh, I did want to say something. I'm still learning this the hard way. So, excuse me. So, uh, let's see, I can flip this around. Maybe not. Well, anyways, so those handles right there and right there, 
uh, big thing is don't hold them straight like this. You know, that's probably most people's tendency to grab. Uh, you'll notice if you do that very long, the insides of your hands, your palms will be bruised. Um, do your best to grab them, you know, outward, straight across. Then it rests inside from thumb to, you know, across your palm and you won't bruise your wrists. Uh, I believe that's a key thing. And, you know, I still grab it the wrong way, even though I know, but you feel it after a while. So you'll start changing it. But if you can do it from the beginning, probably best so uh i appreciate the comments that i have gotten like i said i got some from uh, mr wesley about showing my leg hopefully i did show my leg enough i don't know if you're wanting skin and all that stuff but um you know i could uh i just always have it in a shrinker um like i said i've been ready for you know other, you know a lot in the basics i've been ready for prosthetics since i got out of the hospital so uh, I don't take it off unless I take a shower or I'm at the doctor. Um, and that's the truth behind it. You just, you don't. Um, so you can uh, be ready for the prosthetic because it needs to be a certain size. That's why they call it a shrinker. So if you need to see it and anybody wants to see it, I guess you can. I just got my stitches out the other day and, uh, you know, uh, I'm not one to look at it. I went through a lot. Don't really want to see that part of it. But, and that's weird, I'm sure. But, um, like I said, I appreciate all the comments and people that are still, you know, watching and subscribing and everything else. And got to go back to the pain management doctor today and see how that goes, which shouldn't go bad, I would assume. So uh, just another drive. But uh, like I said, again, thank y'all. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, until next time.